Uh, hello and welcome to a replay sent in by Thunderchild. Hey, Thunderchild BC here on his HMS Belfast on the Northern Lights map. This is the old North map. And he's in a 7 to 9 game. There are no submarines or aircraft carriers. There are no hybrids. Which is quite civilized. It's old school. Uh, the enemy team have a Friedrich de Groza, Alsace La Pantone, Gunnice now, King George V as their battleships, two Seattle's, a Schroeder, Astorias, Indianapolis as their cruisers. And a Dretico and Shiritsuyu as the destroyers. And the green team have got Hizen, Friedrich de Grosse, Pommen, Prince Heidrich, Leon as their battleships, Al Azuma, Buffalo, Vallejo, New Orleans, and Belfast as their cruisers. With a Z46 and Bliska Vitzer as their destroyers. And. There's quite a lot of uh, radar on the enemy team with the Indianapolis and two Seattle's. And green team have got Buffalo and Belfast. So, Bliskovica seems like he's going to go and look at the 910 line. De Grosse seems to be lined up to go out that way as well. We've got our protagonist here in this awful camo Belfast. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, and he is heading towards the contest capital Delta. Not to cap it, but to contest it. Should it be capped? Attempted to be capped. And the Z46, uh, New Orleans, he's then on the Bravo side, are uh, being supported by an Azuma. The Pommen doesn't seem to have moved anywhere yet. And he is pink, so that's a bit worrying. Uh, Buffalo, Heinrich, and Leon are moving across, covering Charlie, and moving towards Delta. So we can see here a big push on the left flank at Alpha, Panto, Astorias, and De Grosa. They've got Indianapolis behind Charlie, and they've got Adriatico just spotted up there at the outside of Delta, with the Alsace pushing down. Vallejo is straying across to the 910 line side, so Thunder doesn't have any support other than the support that he's got from the group in the 6 line that were in the middle of the map. Where is this Adriatico going to go? Is the Adriatico going to cut in here and try and take Delta Cap? There is a Seattle on the outside corner north of Delta. Outside radar range though, that's fine. Way outside detection range. There is Adriatico. Interesting, he doesn't run... he's not running... Um, he's not running radio... Like radio. Uh, RPF on, on his commander, but the, he fired a, AP it, so he clearly wasn't prepared there, was he? Now he's firing HE, that's going to be much more successful, 4.5k. A lot of hit points to get rid of with this uh, Adriatico. 5.5k, that's, that's a pretty decent combination. 10k done. Oh, fresh air shot, completely missed that one. Looks like... The just goes running aground, so should be taking some punishment here. Takes a fire. Fire might tick him out. Shells might hit before the fire ticks out. Torps come in. He is deceased. They tried to go out of the game. They've lost their top tier destroyer right at the start. That's good news. Those torps are not going to be a problem. And Thunder is now looking to try and reverse back to cover Delta again. going across. So, carnage has occurred over at the other side at Bravo. We've lost... Z-46 has bailed out. We've lost... We've lost a battleship and the... We've, oh no, we've lost a Zuma and we've lost New Orleans. Two cruisers. And... The, the, the three of the ships are pushing down, and that Pommen has not moved, so he's in his running. So Bravo is going to be falling. Um, Charlie is still in a contest situation. Indianapolis is on the outside of it. Not really looking like he's pushing into it. And then we've got this group of four ships up the top here. Five ships, actually. A lot of ships up here. Good nice now. Schroeder, Seattle, and KGB. Oh, 
and the LSS at the back. So yeah, a lot of the enemy team up the back of this. Bliska, I don't know why the Bliska's pushed all the way up there on his own. Seems like a very suicidal move. Schroeder is turning in, now he's turning back out. Fires, ain't it? I don't think that goes long for this world. He's really low on hit points now and he's getting farmed down. That's a fairly suicidal move. Not the smartest Blisker in the world. And will shortly be expired, one suspects. down to Alsace. Oh dear. So, Shredder is really running away here. I think Thunder's now thinking of training his turrets onto the Degrosa. Yep. And away he goes. And the Leon is actually capping the Kappa Delta, that's hilarious. Uh, Bliskovitz uh, sacrificed pointlessly on the flank, and the Leon is capping the Kappa Delta. So the Leon that ca started in the middle of the map has pushed all the way into Delta and capped it. So at 46, he was on the west flank, has managed to cap the contest cap at Charlie. So we do now have two caps all, and we're only 270 points behind. Big Salvo coming in, he's got incoming fire alert. Not such a big Salvo after all. That's the problem with incoming fire alert, it doesn't really give you any common sense approach as to what's a heavy Salvo or not. Oh, somebody shot at me, well what a surprise. Not a skill I take on many of my ships. Ah, look, we have the protagonist that is the Shiratsuyu. Hydro is up, radar's available, but there are torpedoes. I need to negotiate those first, and then get a little bit closer to the target. No, he's up, radar in hand, and smoking. Don't take that torp. Royal Navy rudder shift. You're going to be out of your smoke thunder again, second time in a row. Two smokes and two complete failures to be in your smoke. And boom, wow, Z46 murdered the crap out of that guy. Okay, so Pommen has been exterminated, what a surprise. Heinrich has gone down, the Zoom has gone down, New Orleans has gone down, the Blisk has gone down, so we're still a ship down. We are 200 points behind, and it's two capsule, and we're, but we're slightly ahead on hit points. That's the positive aspect so far, we are slightly ahead on hit points. Uh, there's 3S is kiting away, and... Grocer is low, and also Lepanto's pushing in is lowish. For targeting Thunder here. Heavy Salvo's being shot at him and not really connecting. Enemy Seattle is in Charlie, so contesting the, the contest camp at Charlie. Hopefully getting some reset points in. 
Is anybody resetting him? Maybe. Is that maybe? But if somebody thunders now saying we need to reset him, well, that's a good point. You do need to reset him, but it might be too late now. It is too late now. Well, so now you've got to deal with what's in front of you, which is this Lepanto. Entertaining. Don't know why you're rotating your turrets. You still need to deal with this Lepanto. Panto and DeGrosser are both low on the enemy team. We need to get this Lopanto dead. Smoke is not going to help you, Mr. Lopanto, because he can radar you. Oh, story is having a bit of a nibble. There goes Lopanto. DeGrosser is up there. Out of range, probably. Not detected at the moment. Seattle's pushing through. Uh, this time he might be staying in the smoke, maybe. Third time lucky. Oh, big salvo there. Got hit really hard. Now not very healthy at all. I don't know what hit him, but whatever hit him. Hit him hard. Three S should be going down here. The enemy is about to win. Enemy is about to win. They're almost 450 points ahead. There's a confederate. Oh, confederates don't get you get your wins. There's the kill that helps that pulls them back down below 700. So they're only 400 points ahead now. The grocer now needs to be farmed down to death. Seattle is pushing as well. I mean, yeah, kill the Seattle. It's got radar, but let's kill the DeGrosser. He's not pushing and he got hammered there. He's dead, in fact, actually. De Grosser, De Grosser, De Grosser, De Grosser. So that's pulled them back to 700 again. Full caps ticking, though. This is going to be painful for the green team because whilst they're on the same number of ships, they've got no caps. They've got no points ticking. The enemy team are getting full credit every single tick. All four caps. And clearly occupying Delta hard at the moment. So Z46 really needs to get into B cap with that DeGrosser dead. DeGrosser is currently preventing that from happening. That's taking time out of the game. There's a fire. It's positive. Dodging that AP salvo, mostly fine, it all fell short. It's been a common issue at World of Warships for some time now. Shots firing, sh falling short. Ooh, all those torps negotiated. Not a single torp hit, as Ed, so pretty unfortunate there. You need to get him dead. He's still alive, and he's still stopping you from getting that cap. He's still looking for thunder. And some of that clipped him. Two fires that should be ticking out now. The buffalo gets the kill, right. Z46 has to go and cap that cap. He is turning back up to it. They have a King George the Fifth who is in the middle of the contest cap. And then we've got this Schroeder who's lowish. So there's only four ships left on the enemy team. Schroeder is the lowest one, so we definitely need to kill him as a priority. There's a there's a fire, that's a good start. He's put the one fire out, but he's still low. Schroeder needs to be killed. Gnai's now sent an AP salvo towards Thunder. Shouldn't be too much of an issue with that dispersion. Oh, big hit. Citadel located. Now he's firing HE. Why is he switched to HE? What's all that about? 
Did I miss some memo? Nice now switches from AP to HE. Get shooters to cruise up one. What? What's all that about? But your first salvo wasn't good enough. Getting the Citadel now. Oh, that KGV, I think he's strayed too far here. Can they focus fire and get rid of that KGV? Because the enemy team are 130, 26 points away from winning this game. We need kills now at this point. We just need two more kills. Seattle so organized now. KGV goes down. Seattle so organized now, both over this side of the map. Zed is pushing to the contest cap at Charlie. That could be important just to hold that f and slow them down a little bit from, from, from this point. Hall that they're racking up. 150 to go. Red team might throw this game away for pushing too far. I mean, if they hadn't pushed through, this would have been an easy win for red team. Nice now taking punishment. He is taking punishment. Yeah, he is over committed. No smokes left for Thunder now, so this is it. Oh yes, Kanai's now is definitely dead. He is well and truly toast. That Salvo should do him. He goes down to the Heezen. Nice. So, we only have the Seattle left live on the enemy team. They are on 830 points. Zed is capping the cap at Charlie. Can we kill this Vallejo? There's 3 minutes 20 left in the game. There's no way they're going to overhaul the red team on points. It's not going to happen. Just need one big salvo here. I mean, the Heezen could probably delete it if it hits it. If it could hit it. Players going around the corner. This could be bad for the green team. Okay, Vallejo's hitting it. Oh, broadside, no, what are you doing, Vallejo? You're not exchanging well here. You're basically committing yourself to death. Wow, the Seattle failed to kill it. Some 15 shit points. It's still alive, bizarrely. I have no idea why that Vallejo is still alive after it went broadside and got absolutely deleted. Now it's deleted. 9.25, two caps ticking. Seattle has to be exterminated. 143,529 damage done, and a confederate. 1.5 million tanked. On hydroacoustic. No talks from Seattle, so it's not really too much of an issue. So Seattle knows he's coming, so should be prepared for him. Oh, Seattle might be slightly confused by the, the friendly buffalo. We'll see. Anyway, on the corner here. Looking at your shots, Thunder, what are you doing? Mud buggering about, probably. Yeah, he's ready for you, and what fresh air did it? <laughs> Didn't actually kill you, what the heck? Oh well, now you're in trouble. You're in trouble, Mr. Seattle, that's that's not nice. Oof, too soon. And you're going to reload, this, this is a Belfast you're looking at. And again, he mostly fresh airs it, and boom, end of the game, victory for the red team. How all the red team have won this game? Does beg a belief slightly, doesn't it? Four kills for Thunder. Well done. A uh, uh, red team should have won that game. Really should have won that game. 1.6 million credits earned, so he's probably farming the crap out of something with 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 something. 51,000 XP and 12,650. Yeah, he's been loading some signals, bonuses of some sort. Four kills. Well done. Top of the team, 2784 base XP on a win though, so he gets a third bonus to the to the result. So yeah, bumps him up a bit, bumps him up over 2,000. Well done, good game. He then had a decent game. Z46 had a decent game. He's tier seven in a tier nine game, so it's all good. Seattle and the enemy team, sad face. Both Seattle's and the enemy team sad face really, wasn't it? Really, Dude, dear me. But yeah. Idriotico, Pommen didn't really excel, did they? That's particularly poor considering he was on the winning team. So that's with the extra bonus. 
yeah, not 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 great. Northern New Orleans. So two 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 non-contributors basically for the uh, green team. But yeah, pulled it out. Enemy team just pushed into them, which is great. Just keep pushing in, even though you've got all the caps and you're going to win the game. It's like, well, you can just keep dying if you keep pushing in. It's all good. 23k to the Lepanto, 13 to the Adriatico, 10 to the Astorias, 9 to the Seattle. De Grosse took a bit, 50k. Schroeder took 17. Nice now 14. Shura 8. And the Seattle 5. 152,000 damage done. Some of it was through fire damage, 56,000 in fact, actually, so a third of the damage, over a third of the damage done through uh, through fires, only conceded uh, just under 30,000 damage, and we did manage to do a little bit of spike damage, 46,000, but 1.6 million tanks, pretty much. Um, good, good effort, really. Let's have a look how many of these things he's running. 160% bonuses to credits. So it's actually not too shabby, is it? Got 600k base and then a few extra bonuses there, which is pretty cool. And we got the 800% ship XP. Not quite sure why he's racking up the ship XP on a Belfast, but I don't know. Answers in the comments below, please. Uh, and then uh, Commander XP. 36,752 from that total of 51,000 commander XP, 12,653 XP. That's pretty decent tall, isn't it? Good effort. Well done. Uh, thanks for sending that in, Thunder. It was vaguely entertaining, so you need to re-camo with the original camo for the Belfast, because that camo you had on there was absolutely horrendous. But other than that, a good game. Well played, sir. Take care, folks. Uh, please check out the channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash anyone for more World of Warships and other content. Also, come and see the stream over on twitch.tv slash trustanyone uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings UK time, generally. Take care, folks, and I'll stay safe, and I'll catch you again soon.